Elizabeth Hogarth designed my card making and paper crafting channel where I love to share my love of this wonderful hobby. Um, I am a, currently a Graphic 45 brand ambassador and I have been given a collection of Life's a Bowl of Cherries to play with. So I've actually ended up making three different videos. The first one will be on the Graphic 45 blog and in it I will show you how to make this particular set of cards. So hopefully that will be coming up soon. Um, the second video it features these cards here that I'm going to be showing you today, which are angled gatefold cards. Um, and I had some excess scraps from this style of card and I ended up making another five cards that I'm also showing you in this video. Following on from this set of cards, I then ended up exploring different types of glues and adhesives. Now, if you are a paper crafter, those are tools of the trade and it might sound boring to some, but in the next week, I will have a third video where I have gone through eight different types of glues in order to make these projects. And it's a little bit of an experiment. So I hope that that will prove interesting to some of you and that you will subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and carry on and watch the other videos. But that's enough about the future. Let's take a look at how to make these angled gatefold cards and carry on to the end of the video and you'll be able to see what I've done with these scraps. Graphic 45 kindly sent me these 12 by 12 papers, part of my final brand ambassador package. I have decided not to apply again to be a brand ambassador, even though I absolutely adore all of the items that the team have very kindly sent me this year however i've got other projects in mind and even though i will still be sharing videos featuring these beautiful papers and designs um i've got other things as well that i need to be working with i've also got the Lysa Bowl of cherries patterns and solids and you can see how beautifully the blues and the teals and the reds and the greens work with the main paper. So you, as always, you've got a lot to be working with. And in the projects that I'm sharing with you today, I've only really used two or three designs. So you've got the patterns on the front and the bold colours on the back. Some of the designs are replicated, but that's complete joy for me because i loved working with all of them i also popped in the ephemera assortment and you'll see me using these on the cards so as i say this is the angled gatefold card and i've made it with a belly band purely because it starts off life as an a4 piece of paper and then once you've worked out the angles it's quite a good batch making card and then I'm going to make it with the sentiment on the inside. So it's just cream paper on the inside. Or you could, of course, decorate this part here. And then add your sentiment on the back. You can use it with magnets as a fold. But, but because I've got these strips left over, I turn them into wraps to hold the card in place. To create the base of the card, we need to take a sheet of A4 card. I'm using craft card, but you can use white card. And we're going to cut this down to 11 inches by five and a half inches. And you want to keep the extra piece We're then going to score at three and three eight. And then we're going to bring in the cut lines to create the angle, but keep your trimmer close by because it will come in handy. So 
So working from the top of the card on the left side and the right hand side, we're going to measure down from the top at one and three quarter inches. And from, and from the bottom, we're going to make a mark at one inch. So from the right and from the left. Then you want to draw a line from this one and three quarter mark to your fold line. You can use the trimmer at this point, but to make it really obvious, I'm going to cut this section here. So from that fold line to the one and three quarter inch mark, this section here will be cut away. We then take the one and three quarter inch mark and join it up to the one inch mark at the bottom. And again, this will be cut away. And again, the one inch mark at the bottom. So the one and three quarter mark. And again, this will be cut away. So line up your fold mark here with the one and three quarter inch mark. And use your trimmer to cut away the excess I will of course need to rub away this pencil line So then you've got the base of the card. That's your angled gatefold. And then you're going to use your mat to decorate it. So you're going to cut down the excess piece of A4 paper to one and seven eighths of an inch. You've got your inside mat that measures four by five and a quarter inches. And then you need four pieces of pattern paper i'm going for two different colors three and one eighth by five and a quarter but we need to use the angles we need to cut the angles on here to match the base of the card you can of course measure all of the pieces in exactly the same way but i found it easier to create a template from the card and then i use this as a quick marker for each of the pieces so i'm going to go with a red and a blue then you can stick all of the layers onto the base of the card. I'm going to quickly add a sentiment to the cream piece. These are some Sizzix stamps that I'm enjoying at the moment. And they're rather apt for the cards that I'm sending. So I'm using two shades of Versafine Claire. So the first one is a lighter blue, which is Paradise. And 
And then I'm going in with the Medieval Blue just to give it a little two-tone effect on the base. And I'll give that a moment to dry and then I'll add it to the inside of the card. So this will sit in here. But let's move on to the wrap. So this is the piece of A4 card that we left as a strip. And then I'm going to cut down one of the coordinating elements here and just stick it to the craft card base. I find it easier to use a uh, double-sided tape for this, but again, you can just use the glue. But we'll go with one long strip of tape. And in preparation, I've die cut using two smaller dies, a floral one and a stick circle one from craft card and a piece of pattern paper. And these will act as larger buttons to cover the seal. But I'll show you that in a moment. Let's go back and add some glue to our inside sentiment. And then we have the main part of the card. And then I think we'll go red over blue. So then we're going to bring in the wrap. And I'll place that centrally within the band. And then bring the band over. Just create a crease here. And a crease here. And the circle will come to the left hand side this time because that's where the angle is coming. So if you're going to the right, move this way, but then if not, come to the left because the angle is coming this way. So I'll add some glue to the cardboard piece. Like so. And we'll add some glue to the belly band. I don't really like the word belly band, but it seems quite common. So I'll try and remember to say wrap. So we'll add some glue to the wrap around. The seal is pretty good. It's quite, it's a shame really to uh, hide it because it's such pretty paper. But then we will close that seal there with the scallop circle. And then I'll add some foam pads to the main, to, to the smaller circle. I've got a plethora of the ephemera to use. I love the way all of the images are highlighted in the pieces of ephemera. And you've got the classic Graphic 45 designs. Um, and I think I'll go with this smaller one here because it sits nicely in the middle of the circle. So there we have the angled gatefold card with the wrap around in the reds and the blues and then you open it up and you've got a very simple and stylish card to send to friends and family. I'm going to make a few more of these 
with the papers I and mean, I'll show you those in a moment yeah, but I'm but you remember the triangles we're now going to make some extra cards using what some people consider to be scraps I've got several of these triangles so I'm going to work out some designs to use these scraps so some of this I will speed up because it's just me playing with the ideas but I've use the cream card that i used for the inside sentiments and to begin with i'm just going to line up the triangles in patterns to see what i end up with because they will make very effective toppers <laughs> So there's the first scrap card that I layered up onto an extra sheet of craft card with foam um, and then I added one of the ribbon borders and then used the panels to add the ephemera to. So I'm going to do the same idea again but this time I'm going to cut the triangles down into squares. So I layered up the triangles again onto the cream card and then I cut them down. So I've got a complete square that is one and three quarters and then I cut the other one down to one and three eighths. So then I'm going to make another two cards using these, these elements. So I cut myself six squares and I've added foam pads to the back and then it's going to be a matter of laying these out onto the card base and sticking them down. That's card number two. I might end up putting some more floral bits on there. But as a card design, that works really well. And then I'm going to use the smaller elements to make more of a grid card. So it's the same type of idea. I'm going to start with a 5 by 7 card. And then I'm going to bring in the smaller squares with the pads on. those are from the scraps um, and again I might add some more florally bits to it just to break up the geometric patterns but now I'm going to use the narrower triangles so here are the narrower triangles and I didn't worry about trimming off the edges. I quite like the idea of the pattern of these. This is stuck onto the scraps of the cream card and then I've got a temp fold card. And some foam tape on the back. So that's card number four of the scraps. I've had as much fun working with the scraps as I have working with the original card design, but it just goes to show the paper is so wonderful that nothing goes to waste. Again, this time I cut down the triangles, stuck them onto another piece of card. Because I had some gaps, I used some strips of the craft card, just stuck them randomly. I've got another sentiment, I've got another tag. 
So these ones are a little bit more modern, but I think they work really well with the papers. So that's card number five. So it just goes to show you never know how your crafting is going to go. So we've got five scrap cards and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to finish the rest of the angled gatefold cards and then I'll show you everything that I've made today. I think that you will agree with me that you can get a lot from these vibrant papers. Life's a bowl of cherries is perfect for your summer makes. You could do so much with it. I've already only used four or five sheets of paper and already I've made all of these cards. I really enjoyed using these scraps because I like to be able to use every last piece of these precious papers. Let me know what you think of the angle gatefold. It's been done by many, many people, but I think with these particular papers, it's a really classy card to make. A video about the glues and adhesives will be coming up in the next few days once I've written all the findings out. And with any luck, the Graphic 45 official blog will be showing the other fold here. These cards will be sent out to friends in my Facebook group and I hope that you will join me back on Elizabeth Hogarth Designs very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.